Okay, we're still talking about bunnies, so we're going to use that uh, legend that we did in 5A. Uh, and we'll go through this question here now. So 5B, the mating of a full-colored rabbit with, there's our cross, a light gray rabbit. So we underline the parents. Let's talk about genotypes now. Now, full, if it's full from the previous legend, it has to have at least a capital C. But nowhere else does it give us any indication what the other allele is. It doesn't say if it's homozygous full, heterozygous, uh, no other information. So that's all we have. Crossed with a light gray. Now, light gray, if you remember, is a CCH. Same thing here. Uh, doesn't tell us what the other allele is. Nowhere in there does it do that. Now, typically, uh, if they give you this and you look and all of a sudden they start giving you uh, offspring, so what the color of the offspring is, that's generally where you're going to have to find the genotypes of the parents. And when you have to find the genotype of the parents, again, no pun in square, we're going to go look for babies. Okay? And if we go look for babies, we're not looking for any old babies, we're looking for recessive babies. At this point, we don't care about the ratio. So we see that we have an albino baby. They had two full colored offspring, one light, or sorry, one light gray, one albino. That's key. Alarm bells should go off when we see this. Because if there's an albino baby, there must have been a baby with the genotype CACA. It's the only way you can have an albino baby. Where did those recessive CA white alleles come from? One from each parent. Right? Because both parents must contribute for there to be a one contributed in the sperm, one contributed in the egg. And that is our genotypes of our parents. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, any issues, give me uh, an email and we'll go over it. Thanks, guys.